today we'll be covering uh, GMX, uh, liquidations on GMX Avalanche. I'm just going to paste two transactions on the, in the chat. So we'll see me one sec. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to share my screen. Um, wait. Move embed. Share screen. All right, cool. All right. Uh, okay, so thanks for coming here. Oh, so thanks for being here today. Uh, we'll be covering GMX Avalanche liquidations. Uh, if you missed Monday's call, GMX is basically a a a uh, trading site where you can long or short assets, and you do that by you pro by providing a collateral, and then you can choose what to short or long, right? Um, maybe I'll, it's easier if I demonstrate. Let's go to GMX, uh, change to Avalanche, and you see here there's a long and short uh options. If you choose long. This first asset is the collateral that you provide. So you can provide, you know, let's say AVEX, and then you provide AVEX to long whatever asset here. So you can long EVE, right? So which, which means uh, the asset that you provide, um, if let's say, so let's say you provide AVEX to long EVE, you want EVE to go up, right? But if your uh if the price of e falls such that it falls below the um usd equivalent of your asset at that time you will get liquidated which means your collateral will be sold um, and your position will be closed so that's what we're going to explore today uh basically this uh you know liquidations of eve so as usual copying the question onto a new document So there's three questions. A weekly view of number of liquidated transactions. So we just want to count of the number of transactions. And we want to count the number of wallets that got liquidated. And then we want to say, all of the wallets that got liquidated, uh, how many times were they liquidated, right? So this is what the three questions are. So I actually went ahead and look into some uh, liquidation examples and I found and I, and I shared two in the chat because there are two distinct liquidations. So one is so let's go back to this AVEX example, right? Liquidation can happen where a portion of your collateral, AVEX in this case, is sold. So that you know it ensures that you have enough collateral to long. So that's one, one case where not all of your assets are sold. Not all of your collateral are sold. So that's case number one. Case number two is all of your assets are sold. Right? So for example, if if drops 20% and then your collateral is in risk, so maybe the protocol sells like partial, uh, partial maybe like 20% of your collateral. And then if it falls even down such that um, your collateral cannot be sold anymore, it has to be sold completely. So that's the two situations that you see here. So if you look at the function, both of them actually say liquidate position, right? So uh, you just click see more, and then uh, yeah, you would see liquidate position. But if you go to the logs, you would see that for this, it says liquidate, which means liquidate the full position. Whereas for this, it says decrease position, which means liquidate partially. So you decrease your current uh, long or short position. Okay, so that, that's what this means. Uh, so we're going to try to sort of like decipher these things. Um, and I will take this to look at first. Actually, both are the same, but I can just take this. So as usual, uh, we want to look into event logs in Avalanche. Let me just make this bigger. Is there a way to... Oh, no, uh, where dx hash 
equals to this. Uh, fun fact, if you put the block timestamp here, this runs way faster. Oops, I forgot the from. All right, cool. So as usual, I like to order this by ascending event index because that tells me exactly what happens in ascending okay. order. Oops, who's that? Uh, Sorry. Was that a question? Oh, hello? Okay. Okay, so, okay, so we're looking at this transaction, right? And if we look at the logs, each of this log corresponds to each row in the data. Okay, so you see here it says 63. Uh, this would mean this row, right? So uh, again, so 63, there's topics and then there's data, right? If you go to the table again, there is topics and then there is data, okay? So depending on which is relevant, we can choose to use whichever. So for example, if we want to see only event index 63, we can say, I want, I want all events in this liquidation transaction where the topic is this, okay? And so that's how it works. And if you were to decode this data uh, column, you would get this, uh, these figures. Right, so you know, for example, the first I don't know how many is this uh represents this right. See here, token zero x b nine seven, um here b nine seven. So you have to cut off this um front section and then concate uh, concatenate zero x in front. Right. All right. So what we're interested here is really the liquidate position. Uh, row, right? And there are a few ways to filter for this, right? So one is we can look at like uh, we can look at the event index so this is 65 but I don't know whether all transactions will be 65, right? So what's more useful, mm. I feel is the topics column. So topics column for event 65 is this Right, so I can just filter uh, and topics zero zero because in an array array because there's a this uh, square brackets here and let's say if I you know remove this transaction hash and I include this uh, origin function signature so just say where um, So this should filter for all uh, all liquidation transactions of this type. Uh, oops, what's happening? All liquidation transactions of this of of this type. Uh, but only I but only this row, and the reason why we only want this row is because it has it's the row with all the information we want. No, account collateral index. See, so we have uh, 3,400 transactions. And to verify, I'll just take you know one of these. Let's go to like snow trace and then search. And let's see if it's, yep, liquidate position. And they should be fully liquidated. Yeah, there you go. So, and, so one thing to realize is that the topics for all liquidate position will be this, whereas the topics for all decreased position, which is partially liquidation, would be this. So they are, oh, sorry. Yeah, this. So they are slightly different, uh, but we can filter for both of these conditions, okay? So again, I'm going to focus on one transaction hash for now, uh, and then before generalizing it further. All right. So maybe we'll just do like this, just to see like, what are we working with? So we're working with like a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things here, right? Like how do you start to decipher this? So 
you can always refer back to the blog explorer so in this case no trace and then try to like work backwards um what all this means okay so i would copy this thing paste into oops paste into here right and then try to like figure out the first uh first one so the first one says key and then 50 yada yada and if fc fc7b so i'm going to find fc7b fc7b here we go right so this and uh and i'm gonna sort of like make a new row because we know that this uh cor would correspond to this right we see that it starts with 50 so it would mean that we just need to cut off ox here but we don't have to right um, because we don't really need the key we just need account collateral and index uh, what does this mean uh, you would go to the doc docs let's see what's the docs um, trading maybe account So I'm just searching for the docs. Is it contracts? Oh, there you go. So here it tells us like what these contracts mean. In this case, account means the account of the user. So the user who longed or shorted the asset. Collateral token means uh, this first part here, AVEX, or whatever they chose to provide as collateral. And then index token is the token which they longed or short which in this case is eve right well 30x average anyways and then it's long uh you know whether it's a long or short position and then you know you can... yeah there are a lot of stuff to read here but you know this alone these three things are the key information that uh we need for this question and it's the three things that bit here. So we're going to try to decipher this. So the next thing we want to know is uh, we want to get these three values. And there is, uh, it ends on 30E2. So 30E2, which is here, right? So I'm going to make a new space again, a new row again. And if you notice here, it's OX uh, or 0X FC1. And that corresponds to here, right? Like uh, 0x FC1. So that means we're good. Now let's look at the next transaction. Is this the same? Oh, this is for another transaction. Okay, I'll put it here. So the next one is uh, B97 and ends with A6E. So it starts off with B97. Okay, good. And it ends on uh, A6E. So here. Okay, um, and then last is 49 and ends on BAB. So 49 ends on BAB. Okay, is that right? Uh, yep, okay. So to, to know, so, so, so these three rows are what we want to know or are important to us. Um, but I also see that, you know, is long could be useful to know whether, uh, to know whether this is a long or short position. So we can, is long false? Okay. So I'm going to count how many characters are here. Uh, 64. I'm guessing these are all the same. Okay, 64. Oops. It is 66. So I'm going to write down, because you want to substrate or substring this, right? So, uh, 166, right? And then this one is uh, 67, 66. Uh, 67 meaning the this value is the 67th character in the string and then this would be uh, 67 plus 66 
which is 133, I think. Hold on, 664, sorry. Uh, 131. And then this would be 195, 64. Right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, my guess is that the rest of this, the rest of this can be broken down into like 64s. Uh, and then that would signify this remaining information here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's just try it out. Let's see like here, 59. Oh no, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, okay. Uh, what about this? 65, okay. Uh, oh, this is too much, okay. Sixty-three. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. So you see how everything fits nicely into sixty-four. So that means our assumption to like break this um, cuts off into cut out wax divided. Oh yeah. Yep. So that means uh, that means this translates to false, right? Uh, I'm guessing it's uh, I'm guessing zero means false here, and then one means true. Okay, so okay, so this tells us if it's a long or short. Uh, this is something we don't need. The first one is it tells us the account, yeah, first one tells us the account. Second tells us the collateral token, and then third tells us the index token, which is the asset that's just long or short. All right. So now that we've got all this, we can try to um, try to get that here. So first, we want to break it off into just this tree. Which is uh like from sixty seven onwards until here. So that means sixty four times three, how much is that? Uh, times three one nine two <laughs> one nine two uh plus sixty seven. So two five nine. 67 to find it. Okay, let's try. So, substring uh, data from 67. And we want, oh, we want 192. That's right. Okay, so it starts from 0x50d. You know, this is data. We're looking at the... Okay, there you go. Starts off as here. So let's make sure the number of zeros are correct. Um, is here? No. Okay, it's correct. So we started off correct, which is 67. And then we end at BAB. We end at BAB. Yep, that's true. Okay, nice. So I'm also noticing that th these three have equal numbers of zeros. So what if I just like split, uh, split whatever this thing is by these zeros. Then let's just remove data. FC1, okay, B9E7, and 49D, right? Okay, cool. So we've got all three uh, addresses now. 
Um, and then we need to cut this out. So, so I'm gonna copy this. Uh, one because uh, position zero. Oops. Okay, position zero is a uh, was empty just now. And then two and three. Yeah, zero, one, two, three. Um, and then I will need to. I will need to add an O X in front. So I need to concatenate. Uh, whatever this thing is. Oh, sorry, the other way around. Uh, OX, and then whatever this thing is, I think. Right, okay. So let's just call this uh, account. So uh, uh, the user that provided collateral, right? So let's just say as like, uh, Origin user, no. User provided. <laughs> naming is so bad. Um, we'll just take this one now. User that provided collateral. Okay. Uh, next is collateral token. So collateral. Oops. Token. And then last is index token. So this is the token that was long or short. So as token long uh, gamble, no. Uh, token that was token that was LS long or short. <laughs> uh, okay. So so now we've gotten uh, this tree address. Let's just make sure that that is correct. So it's doing is splitting. It's first um taking only these three rows right from from this sub uh, substring, and then I'm saying okay, I I want to remove all these zeros. This is why we split, and then we want to concatenate, uh, which means like join together this phrase uh this string uh zero x with uh the 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 remaining string. So then we get. Uh, this is a proper user, uh, a proper format of the address. So we see here OX, or 0x FC1, 0x FC1. If we copy this, and if we were to just paste, it should show, okay, yeah, it, it shows the user's address. And if we copy the collateral token, it should be a token. Okay, USDC. And then token that was long or short, Nice, red eater. Nice. Okay, cool. So now we have this information. We want to see if it is able to do the same for um, the other type of liquidation. So recall earlier that we only we were looking at this transaction, which was a fully liquidation transaction. We want to see if that applies to this where it's a uh, partial liquidation. So I will take the topics here, right, and put it in here. So maybe I'll just say like topics in, and then um, like this. Topics in, let's see, topics in, maybe, so we so this topic is your x nine d nine three. Yeah, we'll just look at this for now. Zero x nine three, and then remove the hash. Um. Now we can just run this. Okay, cool. We got some results, which is good. So which which tells us that if we use these topics, uh, the format that we've had above still works. So just to double check, maybe I should have put put a, a transaction hash here. Uh, 
two, four, six. Okay, so let's just see. So this transaction, the user is uh, OX44. Let's see. This transaction logs, uh, right? User is 0x44, collateral is 0xb31, 0xb31, nice. And then token that was long or short, 0xb31. This is the same token, 0xb31, nice. So, so yeah, we can use this format for both of these topics, which is liquidation. So I'm going to do like this, right? So that, because I want to include all liquidation transactions. So I'm just going to call this uh, fully liquidate and then this as partially liquidate. Uh, this is the liquidate uh, function. Um, okay, so let's see. I think we have everything we need. Oops. If you know a way to like minimize this, let me know. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna. So now, what I'll do is I wanna create a like a raw table, right? Before we, uh, like dig deeper. So, log timestamp, transaction hash. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we're gonna build liquidated transactions. Okay, so we can use transaction hash for this. Wallet addresses that got liquidated, we can use the user that provided collateral. And this, we can continue to use this. So I think that's all. Uh, is that it? Let's run this and see what else we need. I guess it'd be good to have a label. Oh, right. We do have this information, which says uh, if it's long or short. Yeah, let's try to get this. So um, this is position. So wait, wait. So 167, 131, Uh, This would be position. 195 plus 644, four, yeah. So 259, and then this is 64, right? Yep. 259, 64. Okay. So I'm trying to get a zero, zero amount. Uh, substring data 259, 64. Let's just limit this. Oops. 259.64, okay. Does this match what we have here? Okay, cool, it does match. So I think we can say um, something like case when. Case when this equals to this. Then, so recall earlier that this says uh, false boolean. So that means this is uh, short, right? It's a short position because it's not long. Uh, and then when, uh, I can just do like else. Oops, else long and as position type. Yeah. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's just run this. All right, so let's try to look for one that says long, which is this. Um, I'm going to copy paste the transaction hash, paste it onto snow trace. And if we look at the logs, this should be a liquidation transaction. And it was a long position. So, liquidate position and long true so yeah so that means we were right in the uh using that case when else long uh row here all right so i'm going to call this uh like with liquidation raw 
Oops. And then what do we need? We need weekly view of the number of liquidated transactions by index token. Oh yeah, we wanted to add a label here. Um, we can do that. Let's see. Please share YouTube on video. Yeah, we have this recorded and we will post it on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to run the preview on the labels table just to see like what I need. So I need the address and I need the address name, I think, or project name. Let me see. Maybe address name here. Okay. So I can either make a new table. I can just add it here directly. Uh, it's a bit messy, but I can just add it. So left join, left join this table, right? Uh, left join this table on, on, I'm going to call this E as for events and this label L on E dot, uh, we want to know the collateral token. So E dot collateral token equals to L dot address. And, and also, we also want a label for the short or long token, right? The index token. So I'm going to copy this whole thing again. So let's join this same table by calling a different name, maybe M. Uh, and then M address here. And the reason why I do this is because the, in the first table, I already joined on one column and I want the address. Uh, and I'm joining again because I want to join on the other column, which is this. Uh, so that I can show the address. Because if I just type like, you know, address, it would show as like ambiguous column or something. All right, so we want the address name. So collateral token L dot address name as collateral token name. And then uh, m dot address name as token that was long or short name comma. Yep, I think this should be good. Let's try. Select all from. Invalid identifier row 18. Collateral token. Left join. Even logs E. Uh, left join on. Oh, sorry. Uh, E. You know, this is right. Token that was long shot on. Oh, it's because I, I haven't. It's still in. It's still, uh, it's still within the same city. So I need to copy this whole thing. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, this one. So I can't say collateral token. I need to say. Um. I need to say this. And then M address is this. Okay, let's try. Right, cool, we got some rows. So there are in total 7,000 rows, uh, 7,000 transactions for liquidation so far. So we got the timestamp, the hash, okay, the user that was liquidated, right, or provided collateral, same thing. Uh, collateral token, no, uh, no names, interesting. The token that got liquidated is all, uh, web. why is it no name, what's this?
collateral token. Okay, interesting. Let's just see what that is. It's not found. That means we pasted it wrongly. Wait, let me see. Uh, so concatenate this. Concatenate OX bit 67192. about this you know as well interesting but i feel like the this is the same as this but there's like extra zero here right what's that extra zero 67 uh, it looks like all have an extra zero Let's see, if I remove one of these, um, let's just say partially liquidate. Uh, and, okay, let's see. Hello? Quadro <laughs> token. Okay, so this is showing correct. Right, because they have the the labels are correct here. So liquid uh partially liquidate correct. Interesting. Let me look at this instead. Fully liquidate. This is correct as well, interesting. What? Oh, there you go, okay. Somehow there's an extra zero here. So let's see, so if I just copy this transaction and I paste it here, if I remove, so if I just click uh, search as nothing, right? But if I remove the zero, it should be USDC. So, uh, let me recheck this again, see if there's, I didn't filter earlier. Collateral token. Okay, so this has the same issue as well. Which means sometimes there is a extra zero, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Wow, look at that color. Okay. Huh, let me, there's an extra zero here. Am I calculating this correct? 24, okay. 24, okay. This should be 24 too. 6 AE. I'm concatenating it. Uh, This one split. Substrate. Sixty-seven, one, nine, two. Okay. It's so confusing. Why is that an extra zero? Zero x four nine zero x four six one. Oops. Zero x four six one. Okay. Collateral token zero x a. Okay. And then token name 0x49, 0x49, BAB. Does it only affect, huh, it only affects this row, okay. So am I adding a new zero here? What's going on? Let's make a new 
uh, query. And let's go through like these transactions where it's, it says zero, so like this one. So I'm going to copy this thing here. Uh, you see here, and then copy this transaction hash. And then say like, um, and dx hash equals to this. Um, I just want the data part. So I'm going to say data, and then comment all this out. Uh, yep. Oops. No timestamp. Select data. Oh, sorry. From. Picking up the layout option is a run. Layout option, layout option, this, no, this. Oh my goodness, thank you. All right, let's go through this. So this is the data for a, this is the data for a transaction where there's an extra zero. Um, let's just call this extra zero. Uh, transaction hash is this. All right, cool. So logs decrease position, okay, which is this. Okay, so key is one zero five. Key is one zero five ends on one a o four. Uh, sixty six count, which is the same as this. Sixty six count. And then I'm guessing it ends here. Wait. Uh, zero five. E twenty. Okay, ends here. Forty eight A six E. And ten B A B. Ten B A B. Sixty four. Okay. Sixty four. Okay. And why is it coming on error? What? It's the same. Sixty seven. Uh, concatenate this. Uh, let's just re comment this out and then. Remove this from oh. it feels like I did a zero here, but I I let me rewrite this <laughs> zero x. Concatenate this one with this, okay. Uh, split, okay. Uh, split, no, 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 okay. Your X phone ID. This is right, right? Check. Zero X phone ID, zero X B nine seven. So confused. It must be the way that we're doing the split then, right? Let's, let's see. So, um, Split until here, let's see. Uh, 
Aha, okay. So are these not the same zeros? Looks like there's an extra zero here. If I add this, it would mess up the, the rest though. Okay. No. The split is wrong. Wait. Yeah, the split is wrong. The split is wrong. The split is wrong. Let's see. Uh, 67. 67. Okay, so this is 67. Uh, plus 64. Sixty-seven plus sixty-four is um one three one. One three one plus sixty-four is one nine five. Oh one nine five plus sixty-four is two five nine. One nine oh why do I have one nine two here? Should be one nine five. No Wait, wait, no, no, no. One and two is correct. Wait, wait. So sixty-four times three is uh one nine two. Yeah, that's right. Unless it's like one nine three. <laughs> this number thing is confusing. No, it's not. Okay. Nine one. Wait, wait. Let me think. I am just splitting this by. It doesn't matter, right? Because this will be the end. Uh, yeah, it will be the end. It doesn't really matter here. So 192 would give the end uh, BAB, which is correct. <sighs> Interesting. I guess we can just use substrate then <laughs> to use split. So substrate data 67, uh, 64. Let's see. So uh, what did I write down? 131195. 131195. And then uh, uh, split uh, this, split this whole thing with this, right? Let me just copy this. Uh, wait, wait, let me just test something out. Okay, so same amount of zeros, but I'm still confused. Anyways, it's easier if I just do this. Yep, let's see here. F one B B nine. Okay, so this is correct. Okay, so let's try again. Let's copy this thing here. Um. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to add uh ones here. Uh, one. Oops. One nine two. We don't need one nine two. We're moving it, and then we need to add uh concatenate. Concatenate split. Uh, uh, 
I'll get it on it and then split and then yeah okay okay and then this is as this as this and then lastly this wait there's still a zero here Am I doing the math wrong? Oh no, what's happening? Wait, before I concatenate, wasn't it B9? Right? Hmm. No, it's already, it was already this. So I just add another zero here? Huh? Why is, why do? If I add another zero here, this would like affect the rest, no? Because there are some that is correct, right? Like here. Yeah. So unless, uh, hmm. Yeah, only rep evex is correct. And WBTC is. Like for example, if I just add a zero here, I would get, um, I'll get the, I'll get some names, right? Oops. Collateral token. Oh, sorry, I need to add here as well. Oh, nope. This is too. Oh, sorry. Collateral token is this, right? No, 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 no. It's wrong here. Damn, this is weird. Okay. How do I do a case when here? Um, let me just see like what's the damage. <laughs> Let's see, what do I have? Uh, let me count. So count collateral token name, count one. Uh, group by mm -mm -mm. okay, so it looks like I do have USDC, but there are like some transactions here where the collateral name has an extra zero. Oh my god, this is such a headache. I mean, just for the interest of time, 
I am going to ignore this, but I think if I were to account for this, uh, I would make like a, I would I would do like a another query here that says like, um, so, so so, uh. Like unlabel transactions, for example, right? As select dx hash from liquidation raw, where the collateral token, where collateral token, check length, and then you trim the zero. Yeah, I guess so. But why is there like extra zero? It's so weird. But the number of the, the number of the whole thing is the same. Uh <laughs> anyways, yeah, I will, I will do I will do this. So I would get a CTE of all transactions where the transaction hash where this token name is now. And then uh I would use i would create another liquidation raw for these li unlabeled transactions and then try to make the try to like add an extra zero here and then combine a union with the liquidation raw yeah that's how i'll do it maybe in, maybe i'll just show like these three things first because it's quite easy to show. All right, let's do it. So they trunk uh week. I mean I think this something y'all should already know. As weekly, and then what do we want to know? We want to know wallet address and number of transactions got liquidated. So uh number of transactions they got liquidated. So count in dx hash and uh, token that was ls uh, do we need to count here i'm not sure if it's good to count like this by weekly and this oops Oh, sorry. With liquidation raw does not exist. Winner s select from uh with label transaction as like oh I I see I need to put this below okay. Yeah, so, oops, I meant to put name here. Um, name. Oh. And then, uh, now I, I see a lot of people they do like color for the value which is like this. Uh this is really not helpful because each bar is not it doesn't help that each bar is grouped by the number of transaction hash. Eh, the number of transactions, right? Instead you would just do like none, right? Unless you have a uh another thing to group by, which in this case we do which is the token that was liquidated. So this is a the appropriate way to use the color column where we have a, this, you know, extra extra variable to group by. In this case, you know, uh, this will be the weekly number of liquidated transactions by uh, 
by asset. Yeah, I'll just write this down. So liquidated number of transactions by asset. And then to calculate, uh, to, to do this, you would just do the same thing, but look at the wallet instead. And then which wallet got liquidated multiple times, you would just do select the wallet, uh, count the transactions. All right, cool. So let's try to get this thing uh, fixed. Where is it? Unlabeled transactions, right? So um, I want to see, I want to get rid of um, this. So I want to say where this and this is now. Right, so they will remove, uh, sorry, and not now. It's not now. So we only want uh, liquidation raw to be the transactions where there was no issues with this zero. But for the unlabeled ones, we're going to put this all here. So I'm going to say where transaction uh, collateral token name, which is the M address name, is now. And then I'm going to make another liquidation raw unlabeled, unlabeled, maybe I'll call this label, 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 uh, S, and then I'm going to select everything from here. Uh, including this, let me think. Yeah, including this. So this should be uncommented. I'm going to select everything from here except for the now and i'm going to say and dx hash in uh, where is it this one and dx hash in uh select dx hash from label transactions okay nice so now this this new sub query that we uh, made is for all the weird weird and uh, unlabeled ones i'm gonna add a zero here does this fix the issue let me think uh, we would remove and then add the zeros here I'm going to copy this into another one, just to be safe. Uh, remove this and then say select all from liquidation. All oh, right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Select all from yeah, label. Okay, so adding the zero is clearly wrong, uh, which means we cannot add the zero here. Uh, what were we doing before? I forgot. Damn it. Mm. It's okay, let's try. Uh, what was that transaction? Was it this? I just want data uh, some street from oops even logs is it this data um yeah I think so. Address name, all oh, right. Okay, cool. Oh no, we did not specify the um, topic. 
topics is this one and topics zero equals to yep. all right cool so we've got all this data let's take it out uh, piece it here oh well we've really done it here um so we don't need a04 and then 20 and then bab okay oh this is separate this is a separate one yeah 5e20 uh 6ae and bab right okay that's the same one so the number of zeros here is 24 <laughs> it's 24 damn it what's the issue man 67 192 okay let's see how we split it um 67 192 okay so the number of zeros here is this but we are splitting it by this which is correct right and then we're saying uh okay i think i know what's could be the issue i think it's a split right Oops. split this up as this Yeah, when I split this up, oh, I see what's happening. So when I do split, there the the ending of this address is also a zero. If, if you notice here, it says five e two zero, and here is five e two zero, which it but it's cut off from this zero, which is why there is a zero here. So yeah, I think the using the length will be better here. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, um, yeah, the way to fix this is we would need to substring all the way. Yeah, we need to substring all this all the way. Um, let's see, sixty-seven, sixty-four. 67, 64, okay. 67, 64, 131, 64. Didn't we do this earlier? 67, 64, and then I would need to cut um yeah, let's try split from this split from this okay nice very nice um one and then concatenate uh ox with this Nice, okay, there we go. So all I need to do is I just need to follow this format. Um one three one sixty four, let's see. So substring uh oops, no this sixty seven Okay, so 67, 64, 1, 3, 1, 64, 1, 9, 5, 64, 1, 9, 5, 64, 
and then I would just need to split this in. I mean, get the first array, uh, and then when I concatenate, it's this keys when some string. Okay, this sixty seven, sixty four, one three. No, no, sorry, sorry, one three one sixty four. And one i five sixty four. Okay. 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 Select all from this. Where is my? Okay. Okay. Vivo. One nine five sixty four. Uh oh, thank you. And select all from this, so I can uh comment this out for now. Obviously, I can just you know do this for the the whole thing, but I'm too lazy right now. Oh no, it's wrong. What did I do wrong? Uh, okay, let's see. So I split. Okay, I substring here. Uh, substring. Concatenate. OX. Split. Substring. 67, 64, 1. User that provided collateral. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. It's still, it's still 1, 2, 3. Sorry, okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Collateral token. So what worked here is substring 6764 and then you split it. Uh when you split this Let's just remove all this, yeah. Yeah, when you split that, you would take the first array. So this should be one. Um, oh, I didn't change all this. Hey, no, this is my raw label. Shouldn't mess with this. I should mess with this. Yeah. So this should be one. Dictation raw unlabeled. Yeah, I should I should check this. Oops. Liquidation raw unlabeled. Where is it? Okay, here. So this should be one. 67, 64. Okay. Split. Split and then first array. All right, that's good. Concatenate. So why is it not providing it? Oh, I didn't join lols. Okay. On this equals to this. Oops, sorry, no, not that. This. And this equals to this. And on this equals to this.
user and then the collateral token and then the address um still not right why huh One nine five. If I don't join the names, let's see where this gets me. Do I still get my collateral or no? Okay, I got my. I got the user, but I have no collateral and no token that was LS. That means my substring is wrong, maybe. Let's see. Substring is B97 is correct. So that means um substring data 13164 is right. And if I split it, I would split it with this. Um, oh, okay. That's one zero missing or extra. How about now? Okay, so there was an extra zero that I forgot to take out. Lols. Okay. Okay, okay. I think everything should be okay now. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yay, we got a name. Oh, there's still some with no name. Why? What's this? This is magic internet money. So it's possible that the labels don't have this? 0x139. Hey, 0x1309. 1309, okay. It's possible that the that the labels table don't have that. So let me just double check. So select all from dim labels where address equals to oops. Yeah, so I guess there is no label for that. Um I guess we can add that in. What else do we not have? I think that's it. Yeah, that seems to be it. If I filter by now, yeah, that's, that's that's the only one. So I can just do like a case when here. This is for collateral, right? What about token? Okay, no, that's good. So case when um case when collateral token equals to the meme. Then meme like magic internet money case when collateral token is this, uh, then that else uh, l address dot name because the collateral token. Okay. Okay. S forty eight. Uh there's an extra comma. Oh and oops. Nice, okay. Wow, that took a long time to 
<laughs> it took a long time to uh query i mean debug i guess all right so we can now finally put this together uh how we'll do this is i would say select all from this table uh union all select all from this table we call this as like uh liquidation raw combine as and then you can do the same exact same exact thing but you would just say uh, from here instead and this should run with no nulls let's see are there any nulls no okay there you go guys yay <laughs> Of course, also of course there's no null because it's the index token, not a collateral. If we do look at collateral, it should be. It should be null as it, there, there shouldn't be any null, let's try. Oh no, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot. No, what's this? Oh my goodness. Weekly, um, this thing. Okay, so. I have no idea what am I not accounting for. Um. If I were to guess, I guess is me uh the magic internet money, but for here. <sighs> uh, token that was oh sorry I uh N L address name. My address name is not now. Uh, collateral token name is not now. Yeah, okay. I will just submit and let the grader figure it out. Very nice. <laughs> nice, there you go, guys. No now. You're welcome. Let's make it into a graph to verify that there indeed is no now. Nice. I'm very proud of myself, guys. Uh, yeah. Cool, I think that's it. Um, Today's an extra long one, but thanks for sticking around till the end. I think there was about an hour of just hearing me finding out what I did wrong. <laughs> uh, GMX liquidations on Avalanche. And this could be 100% optimized if, you, if I had just replaced this with um this but i will probably say you know substring and this and this and this and not use like split so early on and yeah that's about it uh thanks for joining i think joseph will uh end the recording and then share this on youtube when it's ready cool let me know if you have any questions if not thanks for coming again um, bye.